This is Best Intentions, where we decide if a game is just a shameless cash grab, or if the game was made with the best intentions. Hey everyone, welcome to Best Intentions, where today I am playing War Truck Simulator. Apparently, you have to unlock Portuguese, so I guess bad news for every, all the native Portuguese speakers, but we'll stick with English. So this game comes to us from Dev4Play, which I guess is short for Developer4Play, which kind of sounds like... Oh, this is no ordinary car, it's a machine for special tasks. Well, the music is rocking. Yeah, the terrain's so bouncy. I'm not sure the music's really appropriate for what's going on right now. Why are all the trees falling down? Uh, these trees are just collapsing on their own. Ah. I know that's always the biggest um, issue the military runs into, is just trees falling down randomly. Man, it's like supernova over here. Well, you know, no rush or anything. This sounds like the intro to, like, Third Rock from the Sun. Yeah, now we're grooving, guys. Great job, however, is not the end. It's very true. There will deal with them every our man is important to us. Sure. You know, I'm just having to kind of take it in faith that we are at war. Why is the ground so jaggedy? Ah! I'm being shot at! That's not a tree! I don't know how to deal with that! Okay, so are we playing with a man with, like, extreme nearsightedness? The amount of, like, pop in texture like, actually makes it very difficult to play, because you can't really see what's coming up. Well, you know, I'll take your word for it. Okay. You know, this game is made in Unity. One second. So I don't know what went on during the development of this game, but, you know, in Unity, we got the Smooth Tool. Yeah. Gotta use that Smooth Tool, guys. Makes the terrain a lot nicer. Oh god. Aha! I didn't expect that! Ah! Success! Oh, uh, please don't restart the level over. Uh, I think uh, part of this game, like, they wanted you to have to use some map reading skills, but they didn't really make the maps very clear about, like, what any of them are. So it isn't super helpful at times. But, you know, trial and error. Well, I guess I'm going backwards. The reset function is the most worthless thing. You know, I thought the, the gearbox feature in this, like, that's one of the selling points, is that you have to manually shift. But you don't ever really go above the second gear because everything's so, like, tight and slippery. Like, going above the second gear is just a recipe to spin out and die. Oh, mine! 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 Okay. What seems to count as an obstacle is very random. Ah! The sun is too close! Okay. I just gotta get these three on the way back and I've completed the mission. Developers? This was too long of a stretch without a checkpoint. I've never been so nervous while playing a game before. I really don't want to do this map over again. You know, when a mission starts you next to a tank, you have to start to wonder why you're not in the tank. I'd rather be in the tank. <laughs> Watch out for Red Quad. This is the area of the dump. Are you someone I'm supposed to pick up? Oh no, you're shooting at me. 
Well, I beg your pardon. I will be on my way. So I can already tell you that the uh, driving around in this level has vastly improved than the previous since the previous levels because it's a flatter terrain and their physics and everything works better. I think the developers kind of shot themselves in the foot by trying to make this a simulator. If they had focused on making the gameplay more fun and flowing and less about, oh, we want it to be realistic, I think they could have had a really good game here because the driving itself, when used properly, isn't bad. I mean, it's not the greatest. It's still kind of like driving on a frictionless surface, but it is functional. Once again, if I was playing as the tank, I could just blow everything up and be done with it. You know, it could help this map as if it gave me some kind of, like, grid. And then there was a grid thing on my HUD display down in the bottom left. That way I could actually attempt to, like, figure out my position rather than it just being kind of pointless. Let's see if we can get this baby up above fourth gear. See, now if they let me do this more, I would I would really enjoy it. Are you friends? Nope. Don't worry, everybody. It's fine. They're not shooting real guns. There it is. This is kind of an unorthodox method of getting there. Oh, dang it. Oh, no. The red quad. I have this great mental picture of this guy driving this truck with this great big map spread out and bombs exploding. It's like, why won't the military give me a GPS? I don't think that planes to scale. Final thoughts on War Truck Simulator. This seems to be a new development team. Like, you know, uh, they're not, have been in the industry for a long time, maybe still learning the the tools and some of the other tricks of the trade kind of a thing and so obviously there's going to be some growing pains and there's going to be a few games that come out that aren't very good uh sadly i'm going to have to put war truck simulator in with the games that aren't very good best intentions cannot recommend war truck simulator i can kind of see what they were going for uh maybe you know a realistic military logistics thing Maybe like uh, spin tires, but with a bit more of a uh, story to it. But I think they kind of bit off more than they could chew. And then they couldn't make it all work, so they just kind of put the pieces together as quick as they could and kind of got it out the door and moved on. We tend to go for what's popular. You know, so if you're a developer and you're like, oh, well, I need to, you know, I, I need to make my investment back on this. You look at what's currently popular. So, he look, so these developers looked at, oh, we, we got simulator games, they're everywhere. We'll make one of those. That should get us some money. But when you attach a title like Simulator onto a game, you set a level of expectation of the game itself being very realistic. So Best Intentions cannot recommend War Trek Simulator. The game itself isn't very fun to play. However, I do not feel like it is fair to say that this developer was attempting to make a quick cash grab. To me, this feels like a game made by a new developer who's just trying to get some games out there and build up a, a portfolio of games. And in that regard, I mean, it's there. It, it, is, it is a functional game. Uh, maybe their next games will be more functional. We'll just have to wait and see if they continue to progress and improve as they go on. Because nobody starts out perfect. So those are my thoughts on War Truck Simulator. What are your guys' thoughts? What do you think they could have done to maybe improve the game and make it something that you actually would want to play versus something you skip over or play as a, as a joke? Uh, once again, guys, thank you for watching the video all the way through. If you want to see more videos like this, check out my channel. Check out some of these links I'm going to put here. Subscribe to keep up, up to date with what I'm doing. Just do all that stuff. Thank you guys for your, your uh, viewership and support, and I'll catch you next video.